What's up guys, it's Vicious765 here, and I got another episode of Tekken Mysteries for you. So, um, really this one's going to be focusing on the uh, devil and what this entity is in Tekken. Um, so, what we, what we came to be believe before um, Tekken 7 was announced and we learned about Kazumi, um, what we were led to believe was Kazuya sold his soul to the devil as um as a revenge so he could attack and kill Heihachi and get his revenge now um I want to go over a little bit of the history um Devil Kazuya was in the game since Tekken 1 uh Devil Kazuya is just extremely hard to unlock um there's a Galaga game you had to complete 100% perfect in order to unlock him and um He's really not much. He doesn't have his wings in his 3D concept art. He has wings, but he doesn't have wings in the game. He doesn't even have any new moves. Um, he doesn't have a laser or anything. But um, moving on, uh, Devil in Tekken 2 got a good redesign. And, you know, he was just entirely purple. Not purple Kazuya with, like, mostly purple face and black underwear. It's like a purple devil with, like, Fur on the legs and talons, uh, devil wings, horns, red eyes. Um, truly a creature you would think would be the devil, basically. Nails, um, he got a tail in a Tekken tag. Um, and then we go to Devil Jin. Devil Jin is a character who made the first appearance in Tekken 3, but wasn't playable until all the way up until Tekken 5. Now, the way, the reason why they all look different is because it represents the evil inside of all of them, I believe. At least that's what they said with for Kazuya, but I think it represents the evil in every one of them. Um, Kazuya was purple, and you can see his scar is red, like the wound is fresh again. So it's like the source of all his evil, sort of. That's what I f always felt like. Um, his ending, oh, I'll get to that in a second. Um, in Tekken 3, you know, we see Devil Jin. Devil Jin has went through the most changes, I believe. Um, because the tail, that's an aesthetic thing. That's just something they couldn't put into Tekken 2, where they probably forgot to put it in there for Kazuya. But Devil Jin, he has tattoos on his chest, his face. And he has black wings, as it, like he's an archangel, like he's a a fallen angel, basically, which that's what the devil is. Um, and you know, many people speculated that you know June was angel because of the angel wings, but that's not a thing, apparently. Um, and he's changed. He changed in Tekken tag. When he didn't have wings at all. And he changed in Tekken 4. Where he had the wings. And he had tattoos on his arms. And Tekken 5 oddly enough in the prologue. He had the tattoos on his arms. But they weren't in the actual games. But he grew spikes out of his gauntlets. And grew the ability to change his pants. From whatever the hell. Uh, karate pants are made out of. To leather. Um, and change the color of his outfit apparently. But um, moving on. The Jinpachi, he's not possessed by the devil. He has a separate demon possessing him. Uh, I believe the, de the demon's name is Enma. Um, and it's very male... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I wasn't about to say molesting. Um, malevolent? Yeah, I think that's the word to look for. He's a very um, menacing looking thing. But um, Azazel, Azazel has his power. His power source comes from the devil. Um, and this is mentioned in Scenario Campaign when you go and fight Azazel as Devil Jin. He will mention that they do have the same source of power. Or their power, no, Devil, mentions, Devil Jin mentions that their power comes from the same source. So, it comes from the Devil. That's what we're led to believe. Now, Kazumi, we don't know the full story on her, but Kazumi, she has her own little Devil form and it's completely different her entire body is white similar to how kazuya changed his body color and she has the horns and everything devil jin grew horns in tekken 5 forgot to mention that um and instead of having actual tan like tangible wings it looked like her wings are fire um like a still fire and she's 
she's a pretty decent devil character. Um, but that that's all the devil characters that we know of so far, right? I believe so. I haven't missed one. Um, moving on. It's a mystery. Devil is a mystery because we don't know for certain what exactly how this came to be. And I'm pretty sure they'll explain it in Tekken 7. Apparently, it's a gene passed down to Kazuya uh, from Kazumi. But what I believe is he didn't unlock it until he was thrown off the cliff. And then he realized that there is this separate entity that he could sell his soul to. But he didn't know it was a part of him. I think because he was a little kid. I think he just saw this entity and just thought, you know what? It's not even me, you know? So, in a sense, I guess you can still say if you're a hardcore fan like the main man and, you know, you hate the fact that it's passed down, I guess you still could say he could have sold his soul to the devil, technically. Um, which brings me to his Tekken 2 ending, which is um, always an interesting ending for me. Um, I think it's interesting because you can really perceive that however you want. Um... Me, when I was little, I didn't quite catch it, but when I grew up a little bit, I actually caught on to it because here's the thing. Heihachi blocks, uh, well, Kazuya knocked Devil out, and he's walking away into nothingness, and, well, uh, Devil gets up and tries to shoot the laser at Kazuya while his back is turned, and Heihachi steps in and blocks it. Now... I don't know how many people interpret this the same way as me, but I see it as that wasn't the real Heihachi. I see it as a mental battle between, you know, Kazuya and Devil. And the thing is, is it's a mental battle. And the reason why Heihachi blocks the laser is because Heihachi isn't real. Heihachi is a figment of Kazuya's imagination. And he reaches for Heihachi almost as if he feels bad that he got hit by the laser. But then he realizes... I think, this is just me, this is just a theory that I made up. I think he realizes that, you know, the only reason that this figment of his imagination saved him is because Kazuya sold his soul to the devil in order to kill Heihachi, and that was not done. Heihachi wasn't killed. So, he throws that into devil's face, figuratively and, like, literally. He throws Heihachi into devil devil smacks him out the way hey uh kazuya knocks him out because he didn't follow up with the deal that's how i figured the ending is but that's the beauty of the ps1 era you can really make whatever you want out of those endings until it's explained later <clears throat> Whew, mouthful but moving on um tekken 3 you see devil i i believe it's devil in um tekken 3 in the intro where um, he, he flies, you know, where he, he puts the tattoo on Jen, and this is the thing, the devil gene is transmitted, um, via blood, right? So it's, a, it's inherited, so, and Kazuya mentioned that his, well, devil mentioned that his other half left Kazuya when he was, um, thrown into the volcano. Now, how could that be? Did it go into June? Did it sort of morph, and did it what's the word i'm looking for did it go into june's womb while he while you know kazuya was knocked out in the volcano and unconscious and if so why is it appearing in the woods in the tekken 3 intro as branding Jin and then seemingly flying away i don't know what to make of that because that's a mystery that's why i always wonder because it's like why because when they explain it, that it's a gene, it's a genial thing in Tekken 4 and 5, I was just kind of confused as to why Devil appeared in front of him. But then, again, when you look back to it in Tekken 2, or not Tekken 2, before Tekken was even a tournament, Kazuya saw Devil as a separate entity and may have sold his soul to him. Maybe Jin seen Devil as a separate entity and, you know, therefore... Um, I think, I think Devil branded him unwillingly, like, I mean, not unwilling, willingly, but Jin didn't want it necessarily. Like, I don't think he sold his soul to find Ogre or anything like that. It would be more epic if he did, though. But what do you guys think? Do you think Kazumi may have went through the same thing? Do you think that 
this whole devil thing is getting a little old or do you think that they that they should explain it a little bit better because i mean what i just threw down there i hope you guys could take that all in in one sitting like that was a lot of explaining of like the history with devil but anyway I, i'm gonna i'm gonna leave you guys with that and i am gonna get working on the next video i will catch you guys on the flip side uh have a good one